You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I'm going to introduce someone who doesn't need an introduction. It's Isabel Lopez. Isabel, welcome. Thank nice you to so see you. Much. You've done a lot of great community work, and you still are. You said out of love, right? Yes. In your heart. Yes. But the latest thing you're involved in is over at Stonehill College, a wonderful community partner. Yes. Uh, where my dad taught for 22 years, and wow. I went until they didn't have my major, so I had to transfer. I, now they do. They have a communications major. It's a great school. So you're working with a good friend of mine, Dr. Lee Farrow, exactly. putting on a women's conference. Yes. You've done this before. This yes. isn't the first time. Yes, definitely, yes. So, um, so this is the seventh uh, women's summit that Dr. Lee Farrow uh, is putting together. She is the initiator and the founder of this women's summit. And, uh, you know, in a day like today, March, you know, Women's, women's um, Month. Yes. We're putting this summit together to bring amazing, powerful, and warrior women from this across the state. And out of the state, we're bringing them to have a conversation on women's health, human trafficking, immigration, workers' rights, education, um, women, uh, violence against women, environment, uh, politics, uh, you know, uh, civic, a civic actions, uh, everything that it pertains to women, and especially in this community where many women are, you know, in need of have this, to have these spaces to have discussions and share and learn from each other. So this you is... You have a great list of speakers. I heard you, read, before we were recording, we were talking to City Council Susan Castro, and she is a, a, a woman in a position of power, yes. a new city councilor. Who do you have for speakers? Do you want to give us a sample? Sure. So we have uh, our wonderful uh, community activist, Nadia Gay, that many people know her. Mm -hmm. We have Fabiola Ippolit, uh, who is also a woman and a warrior, who is going to be speaking on women's and health. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our uh, sister, Melanie Griffin, uh, who is also an immigration, national immigration organizer, who is also from the community. We have Amina Pilgrims, who's uh, uh, a teacher at UMass Boston in Africana Studies from the Caribbean community. And my fellow library trustee. She's yes. A wonderful lady. Great. Okay. And myself, who it's going to be, we're going to, I'm going to be talking about uh, immigration and workers' rights and our work that we're doing here locally. How are you possibly going to fit it into that time frame? This, this is jam-packed. I'm looking at this agenda and the nice poster that you have, and 5.30 to 8.30 is, 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 is a short period of time if you really think about it. Yes. So the, so the conference in itself, it's um, breakout in ta table sessions, yeah. or we call it table discussions. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to have about 10 tables with, uh, with all these women that will you know will have um, we sit at a table uh, at a period of time a different period of time and have conversation with other women and the students from Stonehill College of course that are coming to have this conversation so these women are you know rotating or people are rotating to have, have conversations with each individual or um, individual women and it's in the beautiful Martin Institute which yes. is a nice nice setting over yes. there um, you told me food Yes, this, this is an, a this is a free event uh, okay. with free appetizers, and people can register, you know, online. And you know, we want to make sure that every woman that lives in this community and the surrounding communities feel free, feel well, feel, feel welcome to come and enjoy this amazing afternoon for women. I'm looking on here, and I remember uh, listening to the speaker, Cynthia Brown. Yes. Um, she has, keep working for justice and leave no one behind. That's trademarked. It actually yes. has a little trademark so next to it. She's going to be there? So this is the thing for this year. Uh, our This is uh, in memory of our beloved friend, Cynthia Brown. She oh, passed it away know that. I'm last sorry year. to hear that. Yeah, thank you. She... Um, this is her. This was one of her, uh, you know, uh, phrases to mm -hmm. all of us, and even before she passed away, she said, "Keep working for justice, and leave no one behind." So the theme this year is in her memory, and you know, we want to make sure that um, every woman feels that, you know, is respected, and also is heard. 
and I remember her. She also spoke at the family leadership conference too. Yes. Over at it's been in different places, yes. different years. West Middle School, South Middle School, right. Over at Stonehill. I so I'm glad you told me that because we will make sure we pull a picture of her. Yes. And when we edit the version, we we don't want you to just watch it on TV. We want right. people to go. Yes. Now let me ask you a question. Yes. Can men go to it too? Yes, of course. Because you want um, men that will right. be supportive of women yes, definitely. And, and help them, mentor them, yes. work with them. Yes. Um, you know, we're all in this together Amen. if you really think about it, yes. right? Yes, so we want to make sure that not only women but also men, youth, students, anybody in the community feel welcome to come and enjoy this afternoon to learn and share with other women, amazing women, but also we don't want to be leave anyone behind as so, well. So I believe if you go to the Stonehill website, yes. Stonehill has the <clears throat> Center for Nonprofit Management, right. which Dr. Lee Farrow runs. Yes. And there's there's probably a link right on there to get more information, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we'll make sure we make this available to you folks if you want to use the video of this to promote it. Thank you. That's Thank what you. That's what we're here to do. We really appreciate, um, you know, and I think that it is also important that we as women coming out of the shadows, out of, you know, in, anywhere that we are. And uh, this is, this is uh, an event that uh, we're going to be talking about all these women issues that affect women and also affect men as well, like you say, supportive enough to come to our spaces and, and learn from us and see how we can be supportive of each other as well. Isabel, I don't want to get too political, but it's more important even now than before. You've done, this has been done for seven years. Right now, to me, watching the media, the real media, not the fake media, as the president likes to say, uh, women seem to be under assault. Yes, exactly. And, um, you know, the theme also goes, this year goes, also goes with what is going on political in our, you know, environment that we are facing right now as women in every way, like you say. Um, I, you know, I think we need to emphasize that, that more than ever, women need to come together and fight and work to advance what's, you know, what are our issues that we are confronting in our communities and in our families and in our own settings and environments, of course. And now you're also seeing people getting active, activists, um, by speaking out um, and even running for office. Right. Okay, there's yeah. more women <clears throat> running for office now than, than ever before, if you think about it. And, uh, you know, they, they don't like what they're hearing, so they're stepping up to the plate, right? Yes, and that's our, you know, our role in society, not to, you know, um, stay just, you know, quiet, but we, that's why it is important that we come to these kind of conferences and the spaces where all these issues are going to be discussed and that we feel free to speak up and to start working on something that will really affect us. Well, we're glad to help you promote it. I just got the one minute cue, so I'm just gonna tell them one more time. Uh, March 27th from 5.30 to 8.30 at Stonehill College in the Martin Institute. It's a summit on women's leadership and social justice matters. So make sure you go check out the Center for Nonprofit Stonehill College website and find out all the information free and food. Yes. Thanks, Isabel. Thank you so much. You're thanks welcome. To, thanks to you. Glad, glad to help. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.